Hey guys, it's Carla. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting a bumblebee. Um, I started off with a painted canvas. It's raw sienna. I've just covered the canvas with raw sienna and sketched on my outline. If you want the outline, um, in the description below, there's a link to my Facebook page where I post all of my outlines. So, um, you can go on there and print that off and trace it onto your canvas. Now I've sped this up with the background. I'm just, uh, I mixed up some blue and white and watered it down. So I'm just kind of covering around the bee, um, leaving some of my background color showing through. But you could actually just do whatever color you want. You could start off with just a blue background if you didn't want that background color showing through um, or whatever. Just decide what you want before you sketch on your bee. Okay, now I'm mixing up a base color for my wings. And I'll be putting other, other things on top of that. Uh, I'm using a canvas panel, an 8x10 canvas panel, uh, because it's, it's very inexpensive and it's easy to find. So um, they're just kind of handy to paint on, but you could paint this on other surfaces too. Now, obviously, with the bumblebee, they're pretty much yellow and black, but there's other colors involved, too, and you can kind of change those up. Can't, you can't really do much about the yellow and black, but um, the other colors, you don't have to, to have a certain color or, or a certain shade or anything. Now, I'm, very, I'm doing this very loosely. Um, like little choppy strokes, just, this is very loose, so don't spend too much time in one spot, just keep your hand moving, and don't think about it too much. Uh, also in the, on my Facebook page is the reference photo if you want to print that off. And I'm just using craft paint. It's just very cheap paint um, because this is not a masterpiece or anything. It's just um, home decor. So you don't have to use expensive paint or expensive brushes or anything like that. For most of this, I'm using a little round brush with a pointed tip. And that gives me that hair look. And you can work back and forth with the, the darks and the lights. Um, you can dry it at any time. I didn't do any drying on mine throughout the painting, but so when I got cl close to the yellow, it kind of pulled it into the black, which is fine, but you can go back over it or whatever. But if you want to dry it, then you could do that and not have to worry about picking up that black. So just make him as fluffy as you want. It's easier to drag the, the black into the yellow rather than the yellow into the black because the yellow won't um, cover over the black. So to create that hair look between the colors, you'll want to use the black for that.
Right here, I'm just using the tip of my brush and across these little feet. If you want to, if you want a thin line with that pointed brush, just barely touch the canvas with it, with just the tip. Now I added a little white to my yellow to brighten that up and create some highlights. And be careful right there if your black is still wet. Try not to touch it because you'll end up with green. Now with gray, I'm just putting in the the eye, which is not detailed at all. It's just a kind of a sideways dome shape. All right, now I'm defining my wings and there's veins and things like that in the wings. So if you hold your brush back at the end, then you can better get that, um, light touch you won't, you won't get heavy-handed that way and you want it to be kind of um wiggly i guess for lack of a better word Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. Check out my other videos. Um, I've started putting all of my reference photos and outlines on my Facebook page, so it's free to just go on there and print those off. And also, if you look back at some of my older videos and you see that there's something you want to paint that I don't have the outline on my Facebook page for, um, let me know and I'll be glad to put it on there. Like I always tell you, if you if you walk away from this and come back to it, you you'll get a better look at it, a better perspective on it, to see if you need any more highlights or anything on it. Now with kind of a darker gray, I'm putting um, some highlights in all the black areas, just to give it some dimension. Uh, also, if, if you have anything that you want me to paint in the future, then let me know and I'll start working on that.
All right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload my next video. So, um, God bless you, and I hope to see you next time.